So today I'm in Round Top, Texas for this big uh, antique and art show that spans about 20 miles. It's a two week show, really gives you a glimpse of, in a way, the economy and what people are doing and how they're spending money. So we've been here two days, first day, two days. They were okay. Yesterday wasn't so good, but Saturday and Sundays are typically retail investors or retail buyers. So just regular people out. Monday through Friday is interior designers, interior decorators, that kind of thing, shopping for clients or shopping for their own stores. So it'll be interesting to see what happens today, Monday, the 14th of October and throughout the next two weeks. But something I got to watching a interview with Jensen Yong of NVIDIA today or this morning. And um, he was talking about how X, Elon Musk and NVIDIA created, I guess their AI uh, data center thing in 19 days. And because of the easy integration of NVIDIA products, this, that, and the other, which gives more fuel to the fire when it comes to NVIDIA and their growth and where their stock price could be by year's end, by next year. And it got me to thinking how companies grow and how businesses grow and what are the ingredients of that. And Here's what my take on all that. When money is available and cheap, you can borrow money at low rates, hire more employees, hire engineers, especially if you're in the tech industry, hire buy equipment, this, that, the other at low prices. Where is that, how is that money, the cost of that money affected? It's affected by federal funds rates, which is the uh, rate for which banks borrow within, you know, amongst each other, amongst banks. And that's the money, you know, they lend to us. And so when I buy, have, say I am a business and I have a credit line and I uh, get an extension on that credit line, my interest rate is in a way tied to that uh, Fed funds rate. So when Fed funds rates are low, money is more available to borrow at a cheaper price. But when rates go high, like we saw roughly over the last 18 months or so, um, it gets costly and it's more expensive to borrow. It's also more expensive to refinance that money that you borrowed as a business years earlier. And it becomes more and more costly. So then your borrowing sort of subsides, um, which means your expansion and growth subsides. Well, in September, the Fed lowered rates by 50 basis points. This is typically not what you do when economies are good. This is typically what you do or what the Fed does is they lower their rates when economies are not good. And so this was a sign to me and Mark and Carrie at Best of US Investors that them lowering rates is the effort to jumpstart our economy. Now, they have this in, the Fed has this sort of inflation mandate thing and they seem to have abandoned it and more focused on employment. And I think on a lot of the numbers that are coming out and then if you start to dissect the numbers, you see that there are more part-time jobs being created than full-time jobs. You're seeing there are more government jobs being created than private sector jobs. So that's not great. Uh, that's not a good thing. So how does NVIDIA get to $165 a share by say year's end? How does any tech company or any business, small business, this is a small business, they are a antique um, uh, uh, house, multiple vendors within them. Um, and so there's this big move to 
um, you know, expand. How does this business borrow money at the rates where they're at now versus if they lowered rates, Fed funds rate lowered, and the cost of that money they could borrow goes down, how do you, how does that affect NVIDIA stock? Well, if I'm a company and I'm in the tech industry and I'm building a data center, I am needing GPUs. I'm going to go borrow that money. I'm going to go hire engineers. I'm going to hire people with the sophistication to implement those GPUs into my data center. But I need money available and that money's got to be at a reasonable cost. Well, my belief is we're going to see a reinflation of our economy or in high risk, high beta stocks, high risk stocks, such as technology stocks. We're going to see an expansion again because the Fed realizes that they raised rates so fast that it basically choked out or is choking out small businesses when it comes to the availability of money. And so they're going to lower rates. They'll probably lower them another 25 basis points by year's end, which would be 75 basis points in roughly, was that, four months or so? That's pretty aggressive. That's really aggressive. But they also raised rates pretty aggressively as well. And they probably over-raised them. Well, they did over-raise them. And that's why they're, I think, backpedaling a bit because the economy is slowing. You look at NVIDIA's revenues and they dropped from like 265% increase quarter year over year to I think it was 122 quarter year over year in the last uh, quarterly earnings and chances are we're going to see another drop in revenue now they're still putting out to what two billion in in income or revenue this kind of thing it's just staggering numbers but when you see that rate of change quarter over quarter year over year you gotta you gotta you gotta look at it you gotta consider it to be an you know a you know an issue. So as we see NVIDIA's earnings come out and we see these other tech companies' earnings come out, look at that rate of change of revenue, earnings per share, employee growth, um, cap CapEx spending growth, that kind of thing, and you'll start to see trends. My belief is NVIDIA will come out with lower revenue and growth. It'll still be staggering numbers, but it will be a lower revenue growth, which says this higher rate of uh, Fed funds rate that we've seen, higher borrowing costs that we have seen has been taking effect. And I see this reversal of the Fed lowering rates aggressively being a sign that they recognize they've basically choked out the economy in a sense and choked out expansion. And so what they're gonna do now is gonna lower rates aggressively over the next 12 months or so to get the economy basically keep it going keep it you know take it off life support get it off life support in a sense and you're going to see growth and that's how nvidia will get to 165 by year's end because money will become available at a cheaper price companies can borrow that money at a cheaper price they can hire employees and expand and get back on track that the track that we saw previously. Um, is that good for the overall? Eh, with the amount of debt the United States government is taking on every 100 days, the amount of debt that consumers have right now and are behind on payments on a 90-day basis? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're just in this small or in this period of time of inflating assets or inflating our economy through borrowed money. So just remember always, the sun will always rise the next day. It's a matter of where are you positioned to take advantage of a new day. Check us out at Best of US Investors, www.bus13.ai. That's www.bus13.ai. And check out our level of subscription. We have all levels from $9.95 a month to $60 a month. Check us out. Take care. Position, per, position well, risk managed, and always live loud.
Peace.